it's just oh, I got nothing. Oh, it's flashing. That's 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 all it's doing. Good morning, everyone. As you can see, I am on my way to do a delivery. I'm doing a marquee this morning, but uh, it's been a long time since I actually came on and did a video, and so I'm kind of mad about something. <laughs> it's not political. These times of uh, COVID. Um, no, I, like a lot of you balloon twisters and face painters, I switched over to decor when COVID started. Now our gigs dried up. And I started with one of those little cheap $20 pink and yellow balloon pumps, decor pumps off of Amazon. And quickly realized that I needed to get something better. And I've been using Legenda since they came out. I've got two of the B231 twisting pumps. Um, I even picked up their foil inflator, um, which, and I like those products. And I really wanted to like the B322, the big, you know, $800 decor pump. Um, I got this year's model because it had the uh, random setting for doing garland, which is difficult to set up, and there's no instructions on how to set it up, but I figured it out and never used it again. Um, right at the get-go, I'd say within two weeks, I realized that when you're doing five-inch rounds, the balloons wouldn't be even. They'd just be slightly off, and I just figured whatever I can deal with that, because I mean, back then, back April, May, May graduation month, it was just crazy, and you know, so you just work with what you gotta work with, and then it started acting funnier and funnier, and it's all it's doing. I got two. The, it would, it's got two cooling fans inside of it, okay? And so the cooling fan on the right would shut off. Like, okay, what's going on? And then the pump would shut off, or you'd hit the button and nothing would happen. No. Is it gonna work or no? Can you take the fan shut down or not? Still going a little bit, but listen. Tap it and it turns back on. You know, and or you hit the button and it would turn itself off and turn itself back on and then it'd be okay. Or you'd have to turn it off and turn it back on whenever the little fan would go off. That's kind of like the, the key to when it doesn't work. And then it just started flashing numbers. You know, the, the counting numbers would just be eights and they just flash. Well, here's another new thing it's doing now. I turned it on and it's just flashing. I'll turn it off again. And it's just, I got nothing. Oh, it's flashing. That's, that's, that's all it's doing. And flash and flash and flash. And you, and you know, at first you could turn it off, turn it back on and it would go away and you just keep going. Well, eventually it just, it didn't work period. It, it would just flash numbers and you have to wait 10 minutes for it to, you know, figure out what it's going to do. And uh, so I eventually bought this other pump this is the other pump I got. It's a, it just says balloon pump by CD. I don't know, I'll see if I can find the link. Um, some blue pump, I can post the link. Actually, it's got about half the power, but it hasn't messed up at all. So, and you can adjust, instead of just going like one to, I think one to three, you know, it's 1.1, 1.2, up to three, you can go, you've got like little extra adjustments, but it's a different pump, sorry. Anyway, back to my pump, all right? So I spent 800 bucks on this pump and it lasted for about a month before I really started having the issues. I got it from Lorox. So I just assumed that they would send me a new pump. Well, that's not what happens. <laughs> they have to repair the pump. Nothing, nothing. I get nothing out of here, nothing out of there. <coughs> okay, so then, so by the time I'm going back and forth with Lorox and sending them videos and whatnot, you know, they say, well, you know, just keep using it until, you know, we get the parts in. Because the parts have to come from China, because that's where, you know, Borisimo or Borisimo, or however you say it, you know, it's in China. 
And so I'm stuck with this pump through the summer. I mean, I had the blue pump, you know, as the backup, but um, stuck with this pump for six weeks, another six weeks waiting for this pump, just for the parts so I can send it in. So the parts finally come in. And I should say also, I'm scattered around here, I did contact Legenda USA, Legenda over China on Facebook, on, I mean, on Amazon, everywhere, and could not get a single response. I contacted them like five or six times and they would not even acknowledge that I was having an issue or tell me what I could do or how to fix it or anything. They just blew me off completely, all right? So back to, uh, so I had to pay like 40 bucks to send it in to Little Rocks to get it fixed, right? So after waiting for six weeks with it, I sent it in and then I had placed a balloon order because I was gonna have to ship it back too. But I placed a big enough balloon order so I got free shipping to send it back to myself. And uh, so it comes back, I hit the button, does the same damn thing. And I uh, see so you can hear how quiet the side fan has gotten. It's barely on at all, and I'll watch. Shuts off. I hear it again. Like, I think I've got like two or three presses of the button before it started acting up. And so now, what is it? What the new the new trick it does now? So I, I don't get the number flashing yet. Okay, because I'm thinking that's probably something that happens when it's you know maybe it's overheating because the fan doesn't work. I don't know exactly what it is. But I'm gonna sneeze here in a second. Hold on. <laughs> Good morning. Oh man. What was I saying? Oh, so I get the stupid thing back, all right? And so the numbers don't do the flash thing now, but now what it likes to do is you hit the button and it just clicks and nothing else happens. And it'll click again and again and again and again. And then it's still three, four, you can see by the counter, and it's real quiet again. Let's see what happens this time. Turns off, back on. Problem is sometimes it doesn't do that, it just clicks. Or it just shuts itself off and comes back on. And the fan is still doing the same thing. Um, they replaced the hard drive, I think, or the motherboard, no, whatever it is, the board that makes it work. I, I'm not, I don't know electrical stuff, I just don't. But that's what they replaced. And But they didn't replace the fan, I don't think, because the fan, it's still the right fan. It still does the same thing it did before. But now instead of, you know, just the fan cools down, like, or you could hear it, you know, it's loud and then it just stops because it's got two cooling fans in it. And that's when it acts up. And so now I just know to just turn the stupid thing off and turn it back on. But I mean, it can be working fine for like 20 balloons. And then it can just be like this for 10 balloons. Let's see what happens this time. <laughs> this makes no sense because the fan is still on. You hear how quiet it's gotten. Oh, and I heard it click, so let's see what happens this time. Nothing. It doesn't shut off. It just counter just changes. Now it turns off back on. You know, or it's, it's usually, you know, I get three or four, then it stops, and three or four, then it stops, or three or four, then it clicks. And I don't know what it's actually gonna do. Um, but, so now I have to send it back again. And I had kind, I contacted LaRox like this, the same day about it. And he said, well, you know, let me email them because I don't know what's going on. And so James emails them and doesn't get a response back. And this is a distributor. They're, they don't even, look, look. Legenda isn't even contacting their distributors back for issues anymore. I mean, I mean, I can understand them not want to contact me. I just bought one pump. But somebody who sells their product, you would think that they would at least acknowledge that they have an issue or say, hey, you can try this or try that. But they won't. They've contacted them five or six times too. emailed them. And he said they always get back to me. He doesn't understand what's going on. 
you know, so it's like, well, what the heck is going on? And you spend 800 bucks on something, you know, and you start having problems right from the get-go. And you don't care enough about your customers or your retailers to even acknowledge that, you know, hey, this is, could be this or this could be that. But, uh, so I have to go and drop my balloons off today. And then I have to go, actually, UPS is closed today. So tomorrow I have to go in and pay again to ship the stupid pump back. So this $800 pump has now cost me almost $900. And I still don't know if it's going to work. You know, they say, well, we'll, re we'll repair it or we'll just send you a new one. Like, like just send me a new one. I mean, how, you know, I've been dealing with this since, you know, April, May, beginning of May, mid-May, somewhere around there. You know, and, and now it's October. So, you know, what does that mean? June, July, August, five, six months. I bought this pump that's supposed to be awesome and it sucks and I have to keep paying to ship it back, you know, to get it fixed, but it's not really getting fixed. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, what I can say, I'll throw in some clips here just so you can see what it's doing. But like I said, it, you know, the cooling fan, you know, it's supposed, that's what it's supposed to keep it from overheating or whatever. But it's like the fan dies and then the pump just, you know, clicks or shuts off or whatever it wants to do. Ah, Diet a and mm. I need them as a sponsor, hey? <laughs> I haven't done any video, so no, nobody's watching anything. I got a warning from YouTube today saying, oh, we're going to demonetize you unless you used to get 3,000 more views in the next, you know, or minutes watched in the rest of the year. I'm like, it's October. It ain't happening because we ain't doing no balloons. We're doing decor. But... And where am I going here? 300 feet turn right. But I have been doing tons and tons and tons of decor work, which has been pretty awesome. I can't complain about that. Um, I'm honestly getting to the point now where I don't really miss twisting at gigs. And I didn't think that ever happened. But I don't miss the lines. I don't miss the people getting mad. And I'm getting off on something completely different here. But anyway. In review, the new version of the B322 from Barissimo, the Legenda, the Decor Pump, I can't recommend it. And I don't think I've ever come on here and did a review of something that I didn't like. I mean, I always like everything. I've never had such a bad product from a company. You know, for, you know, balloon-related stuff, it's just, it's flabbergasting and I don't know where I'm going 80 feet Lake Street turning right here that's what I'm doing okay yeah and I realized today that when you put a video on on your iPhone it shuts off the volume for the GPS so I'm talking and talking here and I missed my turn but I'm way early so it doesn't matter all right that's it I'm sorry to be such a bummer about this but you know I really wanted to like this pump because I like everything else they've put out. It, they've just been really good products, but you know, when you put out something garbage and you don't, and you put out something garbage and you don't care enough to even acknowledge it, and in a community like ours where everybody pretty much knows everybody, you know, or knows somebody who knows somebody, or you know, we're tight knit and we are actually supposed to care about what we put out because, you know, they're our friends, they're our family, they're, you know, just people, they're just our friends and family. We have a unique, you know, industry to where everybody, everybody really knows everybody. And so when someone who's supposed to be trusted puts out a bad product and doesn't do anything to fix it in our community, I think it needs to be called out. So that's the point of this video today, besides some random rambling. But uh, I'm going to try to start doing some other videos, um, just decor stuff, nothing major, no big tutorials or anything, but just... Some basic tips and stuff as I'm uh, going through the gigs. Figure I'd come back on and say hey because I haven't seen any as in it's been six, seven months. But that's my video for this morning. My long-awaited return to YouTube. <laughs> All right, have a great one.